If you saw my video the other day, you will have seen this rather fascinating document that somebody sent in my Discord channel. As a side note, if you want to keep up with this kind of information, please feel free to join my Discord channel. There will be a link in the description. However, on December the 15th, 2022, Google UserContent.com, so this is from Google itself, they released Search Quality Evaluator Guidelines.pdf. Now, this is super, super important, super, super interesting. And basically, what I wanted to show you is how to use chat GPT plugins to basically read all of this information, take all the important parts of this information, and start to fully understand how SEO actually works. If you are new to SEO, this is basically what you should be doing. You should understand all of this. You should read all of this. But instead of reading it all, let's just put it into ChatGPT. So go to ChatGPT, click on ChatGPT4, make sure plugins are turned on, and then just, we're gonna use the web pilot plugin. And I'm gonna say, please read this PDF and summarize the main points for ranking on Google, including technical, on page, etc. And then we're going to hit enter. What this is going to do is it's going to use web pilot, first of all, to open this PDF up. And then it is going to basically give us a summary of all of the information inside the document. So this is something that is not that well understood in SEO. People think that the most important thing is what you write on a page, but it's actually not. So the Google Search Quality Evaluators Guidelines provide a comprehensive understanding of how Google evaluates the quality of web pages for search ranking. Here are the key points. Purpose of a web page. Every web page is created with a purpose, which could range from sharing information or personal experiences, expressing an opinion, entertaining, offering products or services, or allowing users to post questions or share files. Understanding the purpose of a web, web page is crucial to evaluating its quality. This is actually super interesting. This is num the number one point that it makes when really this isn't something that's necessarily thought about. What I like about this is it actually shows you that you have quite a lot of freedom about what you do on a web page, provided that it is obvious to Google the point of the web page. The second one is really interesting. It's your money or your life, YMYL topics. I guess this video is just gonna be a really, really good summary of SEO at its most fundamental level and what you need to fully understand before you start SEO. And this is one thing that I always talk about. Do not, in my opinion, unless you're going for long-term and you're gonna use TikTok, Instagram, you're gonna back everything up with research, you're not just gonna be writing chat GPT content, et cetera, et cetera. Do not go into your money or your life. So pages that could, could potentially impact a user's health, financial stability, safety, or societal welfare are termed as YMYL pages. These pages are held to the highest standards because inaccurate or misleading information could directly harm users. So what does that mean? It means if you have a web page that says smoking is good for you, the likelihood is you're not going to rank because you know it's been proven by now that smoking is not good for you. So yeah, I think this is this is another really really good and important point. Quality of the main content. The quality of the main content is a significant factor in a page quality rating. The content should be accurate, comprehensive, and serve the purpose of the page. That's just kind of obvious. Reputation of the website and content creators. The reputation of the website and content creators also influences the page quality. This includes customer reviews and other reputation information about the website or content creator. This is kind of really, really important and something that a lot of people don't even think about. Experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trust, E-E-A-T. High quality pages need to demonstrate. So high quality pages need to demonstrate high level expertise. This is really interesting. When a lot of people think, think of E-E-A-T, they think that it means that it comes from the reputation of the website and the content creators. But these are two different things, okay? EEAT actually just comes from giving really, really high level information and maybe information that no one else can give about a topic. And the only real way to do that is to add it yourself or to add it into the chat GPT prompt. This video actually is a really, really good way to tell you 
that you're only going to rank well if you add your own heart and soul into the chat GPT prompt. Because if not, it's not going to demonstrate a high enough level of EEAT. Page quality ranking. Pages are rated based on their overall, overall quality, which includes the quality of the main content, reputation of the website and the content creators, and the EEAT. Pages that do not meet all of this criteria, so these three points here, will not rank. Search quality rating. The guidelines emphasize that the ratings are used to measure the effectiveness of search engines in delivering helpful content to users worldwide. The ratings also help improve search engines by providing examples of helpful and unhelpful results from different searches. Okay, what I then asked it to do was to give a summary of the on-page ranking factors, okay? So what I'm trying to show you in this video is everything you need to know about SEO according to Google themselves. So title tag, this is the title of your web page as it appears in the search engine result page, S-E-R-P and browser tabs. So uh, for example, if I click on Let's just open a random page. This is the title tag here. It's the meta title tag in this case. And if you look here at the top in the browser while it's loading, it says black tie dress code explained. This is also the title tag. It needs to be clickable. It needs to be descriptive. It needs to be relevant. And it should always, always, always include your focus keyword. Bonus points if you put the um, keyword right at the beginning. British GQ are a perfect example of this. They, their uh, title here is easily the best title on this page. And that, along with all of the other stuff that we talked about in this video so far, is the reason that it's ranking at the very top of Google. Meta description. This is a brief summary of the content on your page. It appears under the title tags in the SERPs. A well-written meta description can increase the click-through rate of your website. Okay, so things like free shipping, things like uh, best prices, et cetera, et cetera. Or to be honest with you, um, just don't even bother and let Google create a meta description from your content. URL structure should be SEO friendly, meaning they should be clear, concise, and include keywords. A well-structured URL helps both users and search engines understand what the page is about. This is something that I actually did not do until very recently. You can see this is super, super clean, super, super easy. GQ knows exactly what they're doing. They have a picture of a famous person at the beginning. This is a perfect example of following everything that Google has just told us, and that is why they are ranking number one. Heading tags, H1, H2, H3, etc. These tags, These tags are used to structure content and make it easier to read. The H1 is actually different in this case, okay? So there is a difference. People don't understand this. This is the H1 tag. And this is the title tag. They are two different things. In WordPress and in Shopify, you can use a different H1 tag to the title tag, okay? Normally, the box at the top of your CMS is where you put the title tag. And when what you put underneath is the H1 tag. They can be different. That's completely fine. The H1 tag is typically the title of the page and should include your targeted keywords. Subsequent headings, H2, H3. It's basically, you've got to think of it like writing an essay, okay? So what is black tie, tie event? This is H2, this is H2, H2, H2. This is probably H3, I'm going to guess. Let's have a look. It is. So headings are, subheadings H3, headings are H2, basically. Keyword usage and targeting. Keywords are fundamental to SEO. They should be used strategically and naturally throughout your content, title, headings, and meta description. Content quality. The quality of your content is crucial. Oh, sorry, just a quick thing. Headings. Make sure you put, you don't have to do this, um, but make sure if you're asking like a question, like what to wear to a black tie event, make sure it's a heading. Make sure you give a clear, concise answer afterwards. Content quality. The quality of your content is crucial. It should be unique, relevant, and provide value to the user. This is super, super important. High quality content is more likely to be shared and linked to both of which can improve your site's ranking overall. Image optimization. Images can be optimized for SEO. This includes using relevant file names, reducing file sizes for faster loading, and using alt tags to describe the image. Internal linking. Linking to other pages on your website helps search engines understand the structure of your website and can keep visitors on your website longer. That's really, really an important point. 
Site speed is always important. Mobile friendliness, always important. Not gonna go into too much detail, but if you don't have a quick site or your website is not mobile friendly, you are not going to rank on Google. So this is how to use what I'm gonna call the holy grail of SEO with ChatGPT to understand everything you need to do to rank a website on Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.